organization is between the China and the U.S. Um, but today at the Asia Pacific uh, City Summit at Brisbane today, how would you foresee the cooperation between China and Australia in terms of the sustainability and the development in the future? I think this summit, the Asia Pacific Summit, was so important for me to provide this message that China is going green because a lot of people came up to me and said they were surprised. They never heard that China was going green. And more so, they never heard that China was going green at such scale and that they were putting trillions of dollars into going green. They were frankly shocked. A lot of the mayors came up to me right after. And the message that I have is, is that, is that China wants to share its technologies, but it also needs help from other countries to be able to do this, right? China is still a developing country in many, many ways. And so many of the cultural developments, the um, latest technologies, for example, battery storage, energy storage, uh, I, I think I saw printed batteries here Right? How wonderful is that? So these technologies need to come to China so that they can be implemented, trialed, piloted at scale so that we can produce them at very large scale and bring the cost down and make this affordable for all. What the amazing story, the amazing journey of the greening of China means for the rest of the world is the democratization of sustainable solutions. What that means is anybody should now be able to afford solar energy, wind energy, clean water, because China has been testing it at scale for so long now.